Our trip began early in the morning. We knew we had a three hour drive from Orlando to Steenhatchie, and we planned to stop at a local dive shop along the way for supplies. When we arrived, we were pleasantly surprised with where we chose to stay. This rental property had all of the amenities you could ask for, and since we had family staying for a night or two, it had plenty of room for everyone. It also sat at the mouth of the Steenhatchee River and offered amazing views of the Gulf of Mexico. After unpacking, we had time for a quick sunset cruise to scout locations for scalloping in the morning. We soon found out that Mother Nature had other plans. The next morning brought blue skies, calm winds, and a perfect day to be out on the Gulf of Mexico. Don't make a spectacle out of yourself. Widely recognized as a sportsman's paradise, Steenhatchee offers some of the best fishing, stone crabbing, and scalloping anywhere in the state of Florida. In July and August, thousands flock to the area to hunt for bay scallops, which are easily found in 2 to 8 feet of water. You can wade the shallows and scoop them up with a dip net, or take your boat and snorkel gear and enjoy searching the deeper grass flats up to a mile or two offshore. In either case, it's not uncommon to catch your limit within an hour or two. Warm. Dude, <laughs> I think we kind of killed it. Yes. Uh, Open that lid up. <laughs> Located 70 miles west of the University of Florida in Gainesville, this small town is a charming fishing community nestled along the banks of the Steenhatchee River. It's one of the few towns in Florida that has withstood the test of time and embodies the old Florida character. Picturesque Victorian houses and shops can be found amid Florida cracker-style homes, hotels, small marinas, and family-owned restaurants. There's the good part right there. Sushi. I know, sweet. But they're not as sweet as some of the other like blossoms we had down here. But I think I'd rather have them cooked. All day long. Mm-hmm. Right there. Here it comes. Here right there. We were having such a good time, we didn't check the long range forecast. Turns out there was a reason for all the unpredictable weather. system. 
So we had an amazing time in Steenhatchee, Florida, scalloping with friends and family. Uh, the trip actually started over on the East Coast. You had to right. pick up a pontoon boat, yeah? Yep. Bring, bring it back over here to the uh, Longwood, Orlando area to do a little fine-tuning on it. Then head north to Steenhatchee. Steenhatchee. That's what <laughs> yeah. a lot of people call it. It's Steenhatchee. Yeah. Locals call it Steenhatchee, but anybody who reads it because it's Steenhatchee. But the scalloping is usually really good over there, and, and this trip was no exception. I think we limited out every day very quickly. Uh, figured out it takes as much time to clean scallops as you are actually on the bottom picking them up. Right, right. Yeah. But it's not so bad. Once you get, I think we showed you a few different ways to do it, and you get good at it. Um, bad thing was we got pushed out by weather. The weather really turned bad. Yeah, the weather was, it was great, and then it was terrible. There was really not much in between. It was bright and sunny, beautiful clouds. Temperature was perfect, and then these squalls would blow in. And so, you know, that's where the uh, the name came from, scalloping and squalls, you know. <laughs> yep. So, uh, very good, and we'll get back to you soon with some more videos. Stay tuned for more adventures of Winging It with Brian and Matt.